Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking. It means a lot to you guys keep clicking. If you guys keep clicking, I'll keep making. And today, I kind of want to do two things at once. I want to cover a cast member from Survivor 43, but I also want to give someone who has now deserved their own has lost their mind video. You know, usually those are reserved for players who have been on the show, who have shown us who they are um, as far as how they are in the game. But this person is just extra special. Uh, because Carla has now earned herself a blank has lost their mind video and she hasn't even been on the show yet and the reason that she gets her own blank has lo lost their mind video is really because of this one tweet that I saw I thought it was worthy of one of these videos and really demonstrates the reason that I need to make these videos uh, because these people are just absolutely losing their mind of course if you haven't already like share subscribe do all that good stuff because it's free it's easy and it really helps the channel out so coming into this cast release I was really hoping that production would take its casting in a different direction considering how the public reacted to the past two seasons and all of the woke stuff with the ratings dropping down after both of the biggest woke episodes in both seasons one being the, the premiere of 41 uh, where the ratings dropped I believe what like 300,000 people left uh, and then after the Drea episode I believe 150,000 people had left after that episode you would think like executives who whose entire business is running on these viewers would recognize that uh, or at least make changes based on that it doesn't seem like it because I was so excited and then I read this from one of the, the, the castaways that's going to be on this season she said in this quote that she's so excited to represent the queer women of color of the world and also curvy women uh and to me my first reaction was why do you care I, I don't I just don't I don't understand his mindset I will never understand his mindset till the day I die I won't yeah I just don't get it I was raised to just not look at these groups for example your gender or your race and instead judge people based off their character or where they come from or how they think or maybe even their age but not just based off of their race and gender and it seems like she only thinks in these terms she's saying that she's excited to represent queer women of color why not just be excited to be on the show I understand many people are, are going to clap back and say why do you care why do you care so much but the reason I care is because it's not just about me this is what the next generations are going to, to be learning how to think if we could continue with this mindset so yes it does matter I thought it was definitely deserving of a blank has lost their mind title although that's just the tweet part of this video the second half I'm going to cover her pregame interviews as well as her EW bios first I'll show you her one minute personalized pregame video and then I'll go through her EW bio My name is Carla Cruz Godoy. I am a project manager and I'm from San Diego, California. Having to survive in real life is definitely what has prepared me to be on this show. Growing up poor, you learn to kind of like fend for yourself and in a way that made me very selfish because you kind of had to cheat. Sometimes I had to steal to get by. Just being able to like look someone in the eyes and literally lie to them. I think, I think I'll do a good, and then be, being able to start drama, like, on, my family, they're chismosas. A chismosa is someone who's nosy, and I'm a chismosa because I want to know everything about you, but I'm not going to tell you everything about me. So, to finally be here, the sand on my toes, um, the breeze, the humidity in my hair, I'm living. Now, let's look at her EW bio. So, she's from California, and she now lives in Delaware. Why she would ever move from California to Delaware is beyond me. Uh, she's an educational project manager. Oh no, this lady is like talking to our kids. Oh no, oh no, okay, okay. Her favorite hobbies are traveling, bun brunching, and karaoke. Uh, she's ambitious, gregarious, and adaptable. Uh, she definitely thinks of uh, pretty high of herself. I'm curious uh, if, if she she's seen a mirror before. I, I don't know. Pet peeves, tardiness, pessimism, and slow drivers. I'm not the biggest fan of people whose pet peeve is pessimism uh, because I feel like those type of people tend to be optimists and those are my least favorite type of people because they're not realistic. They're always trying to be happy and say, well, stay positive. Stop being so negative when being negative is sometimes what you need to be because it's all about being realistic. It doesn't matter if you're positive or negative. It's about being realistic. What is actually needing to happen? Not what do you want to feel? What do you need it to feel? And I think it's a very childish way to look at the world. Now, children have an excuse because they haven't had any hard experiences yet. She seems like she's had tons of hard experiences. Uh, her, her greatest accomplishment 
accomplishment is her parents, who are immigrants who became teen teenage parents at the age of 16. Um, blah, 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 start from the bottom. Now I'm here. Yep, we've like heard this a thousand times. Uh, she says she's in inc incredibly competitive and an overachiever in every aspect of her life. Now it's weird because there's a few types of overachievers. There's the nice type, and then there's like the, the annoying type, right? Then the nice type is like, well, you know, me. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm good in school. I would consider myself a pretty bright person, but I'm not trying to win at everything just to show off other people when i'm achieving things i'm not trying to put down others or you know prove my dominance over others i'm doing it purely for myself is she a, the, t the type of person to do it just to kind of prove that she's superior or better than others or is she doing it for herself that's the uh the main thing and i did i did miss miss this last one where she points out her uh not only her sexual orientation but her race again again i, I it's weird she wants people not to see her race but then that's all she talks about is her race and the fact that she's in the lgbtq uh you know a group i, I feel like to me the biggest issue is that she is kind of being hip hip hypocritical there where it's like if you don't want people to see that or judge you for that as you so clearly pr protest then i don't understand why you keep bringing it up nobody else is bringing it up except you more uh, her grandfather is her, is her hero because her grandfather Im immigrated to the U.S. Uh, from Mexico to provide a, a better life for his family and that he instilled strong educational values in her. It makes sense uh, because the educational kind of tr translates over, over to her job. She seems like she works probably in the curriculum planning uh part of schooling. So probably she like does the, the curriculum, uh, which is kind of kind of scary. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of nervous for those kids and how they uh turn out uh she wants to play like Sari fields which to me is also kind of confusing why do you want to play like a loser of the game i understand there is value in recreating a losing game and fixing some mistakes but not once here does she mention any of of Sari's mistakes uh she just says that she was well-rounded social analytical loved by all knew when to serve the pot knew how to keep a strong social game and it, it, it could take her to the end and yet she never actually gets to the end so i maybe she's just not aware maybe she just doesn't know maybe she doesn't want to like accept it um but she needs to accept the fact that that type of game is not going to win her the game it may make her a rob goddess and you know the people on twitter can stand her all day but she won't have a million dollars in her bank account by the end of the season with that mindset she says that she's adaptable resilient gregarious again and that her ancestors have her back what what no no play the game your you sh should have your own back your ancestors <laughs> are not gonna have your back i'm sorry mine don't have my my back either i mean i guess yeah, maybe she's uh super duper religious although you know the way she, she lives her life and what i've seen on, on her twitter she doesn't really show that very much um w with her wife and her family and in her heart she knows that she will make it to the end um, okay, that last part was actually pretty sweet. That was the only kind of genuine part of this interview that I liked. The rest of it was filled with flaws. Not once does she get into her her you know strategy that she wants to play, her social game that she wants to play. She just says that she wants to to play a social game. But honestly, Gabbler, Mike Gabbler, did did did, did a much better job in his pregame content of explaining what his strategy is going to be. You know, the crazy redneck dude who looks like a mole rat. Yes, he did a better job strategically than Carla did. So I don't know. I'm kind of iffy iffy on Carla overall. But what do you guys think? Are you a Carla stan and I'm totally wrong and racist and horrible? Or do you have some common sense? Let me know down below in the comments. As always, none, none of this happens without you guys. Without you guys, I'm a super guy speaking a weird microphone. So as always, thank you. Join the D Discord server and do it now. It's going to close up around the premiere of the season. And that's what I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.